Hi, and welcome to question one of the 2022 paper two of the Leaving Cert Ordinary Level Maths. As always, if you want to copy the notes and work on off, just send me an uh, email at shanetroy at gmail.com. And please like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. So question one here is looking like coordinate geometry. So it says here that um, part of the lines AC, so this is A and this is C, so this line here, a line segment, and BC, okay, so this is BC here, um, are shown in the coordinate geometry or the coordinate diagram below. They're saying it's not to scale. Then part A, part one says, find the slope, okay, of AC. Now, slope, or what I often prefer to call it is the, the rate of change, okay, is the rise over the run, which you could say is the difference in the y's, okay. Now, that in coordinate geometry, we often could describe that as y2 minus y1, divided by the change in the x's, okay, so one x value take away the other. Now, I can do rise over run here. It's fairly simple if you think about it. It goes up three for every one, it go, or say two it goes across. So the rise over run is three over two. Now, alternatively, I could use coordinates. And I think I've done it that way in the notes here. I have my slope formula, okay? And I've taken the two points. So the points up here, zero on the X, three on the Y. And I've written that just here. Then the other point, negative two on the X, zero on the Y, and I've written that over here. Now for the formula, I've labeled them to identify which X value and Y value I'm doing. And I, I, this is my first point. So it's my first X, first Y, second X, second Y. And then all I have to do is substitute the number instead of the letter. So the Y2 value I identified here was zero. So I've substituted that in. Then the Y1 value identified here, okay, that goes in just here. Now the sign is plus or minus by plus would stay minus, so I don't need to worry about that. My X2 value is this one here, which I substituted in there. And then the, the X1 value is zero. And I've substituted that in here. Now, if I do the maths of it, let's clear off the screen. Okay, clear off the whole screen. Um, it's just fiddly. Now, using this, suppose the original method I had here, um, the slope is equal to rise over run. I've just written on the this, this slide here that it goes up three units, goes across two. And you could take any, like, basically right angle triangle off that. If you put the, the, the easiest one to get the values of is the three and the two, you'll always get the same answer. Now, if I go back, we can look at part two here. It says, by using slopes, investigate if AC is perpendicular to BC. Now, we know that the slope of AC is equal to three over two. Now, if we want to find the slope of BC, we're going to do the same thing. Okay, now this is going down, so it's going to be negative, okay, so it's going down three units, okay, going down three, so negative three over, goes across five, okay. Now the question is, are they perpendicular? Now they're not parallel, because they're not the same. And we could say, like, if I turn the slope of AC upside down and change the sign, is it equal to minus three over five? But the better method would be to use the, if I multiply both slopes together, if they're perpendicular, they'll equal negative one. So the question then is three over two times negative three over five equal to negative one. And it is, it should be, what's that? To multiply fractions top by top, so it'll be plus by minus is minus, three trees is nine over two fives is 10. So is minus nine over 10 the same thing as minus one? No, okay. I don't really have much space here. Um, I've kind of done it uh, down here differently and just stated not perpendicular or not true or whatever, some version of that. And that's what a good chunk of 10 marks. So when something's parallel, the slopes are equal. When they're perpendicular, they should satisfy um, this equation, okay? Now part B, part one, it's showing us here the same, actually it's not actually, I don't think. It says the triangle LMN, okay, LMN, is shown on the coordinate diagram below. Again, it's not to scale. It says the point M has coordinates 9, 1, okay, and 
the triangle LMN is symmetrical about the y-axis. So that means that it's the same on both sides. So I put in here the minus 9 over 1, okay, which I don't think that's given. No, it's not given. So you have to, I suppose, make that that deduction. That if, if this is 9 units to the y-axis, it's going to be 9 units on, on the negative side of the x-axis. Okay. Right. Um, so it says find the length of LM. Now, in the notes, I did a different way, but this is actually much easier. It's nine units here, nine units here. Okay, so nine, nine is 18. You could say units, okay? And that's your answer. Now, the notes, I, I use the distance formula. I use my two coordinates, label them first x, first y, second x, second y, and then substitute the letters, but in numbers instead of the letters, and then use the calculator to evaluate 18 units, which is an awful lot more work than I needed to do. But, like, so be it. Um, when I made these notes, I suppose that's the way I thought of doing it at that particular time. Um, now, part two says, write down the equation of the horizontal line LM. Now, if it's horizontal, okay, uh, it's parallel to the x-axis, okay, so there, there's no slope. Uh, the coordinate here is 1 on the y, okay, so the equation of that is simply y is equal to 1. Now, so another perspective of that would be if I use the y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 formula. I have a point uh, 9, 1, okay, and the slope there is equal to 0. So this is my x1, my y1. I could, just, I could just substitute them in. y minus 1 is equal to 0 times x minus 9. Now, this is all going to go away because zero times anything is, is zero. So you left them with, no, I ran out of space. Y minus one is equal to zero. So if I want to get rid of the one there, I can add one to both sides. You left with Y is equal to one, which is the same answer, but it's maybe it might have been a path people went down when they saw the equation of a line. Straight away, I always think of using this formula and then substituting points in, but I didn't need to because it was in a way much more obvious that that's the line Y is equal to one. Okay, now question one, part B, part three says, the triangle LMN, so it's the same triangle as before, is shown in the diagram below, not to scale, the coordinate M, um, point M is coordinates 9, 1, and then the tr triangle LMN is symmetrical about the y-axis. So it says, the line NM, so this is NM here, okay, has equation X plus 4Y minus 13 equals zero. So let's reproduce that x plus 4y minus 13 is equal to 0. The one thing that's always special, all along the x-axis, the value of y is equal to 0. All on the y-axis, the value of x is equal to 0. So we already know that this is 0. Now at the moment, before I, I substitute that in, this is an equation of two unknowns, which is not solvable. But because I know what the x values are, I can deduce it. I now have an equation of one unknown. So I'm going to solve that. Okay, so let's clear it up. 4y minus 13 is equal to 0. I want y on its own. So I'm going to try get rid of this 13 by adding 13 to it. If I do it to one side, I have to do the exact same thing to the far side. That leaves me with 4y is equal to now the 13 and the negative 13 have cancelled. 0 plus 2, 13 is 13. Now, I want to find what y is, not 4 times y. So the simplest way to do that is to divide the number in front of the y by itself. If I do it one side, I have to do it to everything on the far side. So the 4 divided by 4 is 1. You're left with y is equal to 13 over 4. Now, what's the quarter of, of n? Well, it's 0 on the x. We deduce that, and then we calculate the 13 over 4. That's the job done. Okay, so just the answer on the next page. I don't see anything different. Okay, so that's cool. Right, that's the end of question one. So, as always, if you want to copy the notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetry at gmail.com. And please like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. See you on question two.